Thank you very much. I am in Texas and just left the Guggen house. So you guys haven't seen the new Guggen house tour. I'll link it down below. We put it on the Guggen Squad channel, so you guys should subscribe to that as well. But I am going, it's my last day in Texas. I've got to go home and take care of some business stuff that I just wasn't able to take care of before I made the move. Kind of sucks. I have to drive 10 hours for literally like an hour meeting. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to be responsible. You got to be an adult. You got to get stuff done. But what I'm doing today, at least for the morning, you know, if it goes really well, I might try to film another video this afternoon. Um, I think Peric and I don't know about John. I don't know what John's doing. Peric might come out here later on, maybe in like an hour or two. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I'm going to be exploring the ponds around the Guggen house. That's, that's going to be my job today is to figure out which ponds are fire and which ponds are not and granted it rained last night so the fishing could be really bad or it could be really good i don't know what the rain does to these texas fish i feel like they don't see it very often so it could jack it up a lot so i don't catch anything today i'm blaming it on that but i brought my deeper along i'm gonna explore these ponds and like i said figure out which ones are the fire ones which ones have the juice in them and um, that way i can always come back and fish them if you guys want to see another pond fishing video or some tips on fishing ponds i can always come back to these ponds and catch some fish anyways i'm gonna finish my little flatbread egg sandwich grab my fishing gear and uh hit the pond all right guys so i'm at the pond before i even i have already kind of got my stuff rigged up on my baits before i even take them down there i'm gonna throw this a little deeper down there just so i have an idea you know you, i'll look at the water clarity look at the water temperature and just see in general how deep this is i mean if it's really deep then i might be throwing some cranks or something but so far it's looking pretty dang clear pitch this bad boy out there so as you guys can see there, we're sitting around 11 feet or so, kind of kind of towards the middle. So it's a pretty deep pond. The water temperature is looking around 60 degrees. So it's pretty warm. I mean, they're not gonna be spawning yet, but they should be in that pre-spawn feeding mode. 60 degrees is a pretty good number. And 11 feet deep, I mean, this this thing's gotta be potentially 20 feet out in the middle where I can't quite reach with the, with the deeper, but that gives me an idea of what to start throwing. Now I'm gonna go back to the truck, tie on a, a handful of baits, and then just start kind of walking the banks and seeing if I can actually catch anything. All right, guys, so I got my setups. I've actually taken five rods, which I know is such an Andrew Flair thing to do when, when going to a freaking pond. I mean, this isn't even really a pond. This is a canal or something. I mean, it goes forever. But the reason being is because, I mean, I want to I want to make sure I don't have to sit and take time to retie and uh, cover all the bases. I've got basically what I've got is a, sh a chatter bait, a jig, a Senko, a square bill kind of crankbait, and then a shaky head. So I'm really just kind of covering all the bases right away before I uh, before I start fishing here. I gotta figure out I gotta figure out where I'm gonna where I'm gonna start. I guess I'll just start down here. I'm gonna start with a chatter bait, start with a moving bait, something that covers water. If these fish are active, they will eat this chatter bait. If they're not, then I need to slow it down with something like a shaky head or a jig or even a Senko. But right now we've got some overcast conditions and it's windy. Um, it's pretty good conditions for a moving bait. So like I said, I'm gonna start with this chatterbait, see what see what magic I can make happen. No idea if there's even fish in here. Like not, not a single clue if there are fish in this. There's a ton of ponds around, uh, around the MTB house. And so, you know, I'm just gonna try to explore as many as I can today, uh, film a video and you know, hopefully you guys kind of enjoy these these little pond fishing videos. I don't get to do them as often as I would like. Granted that I just moved from Nebraska, but we're gonna give it a shot and see if I can see if I can wrangle some bass in here. Well, so far I haven't had any luck with the chatter bait. Like I said, I have absolutely no clue if there are any fish in this little lake, but there's only one way to find out and that is to go fishing. But like I said, I've got all day today, so I'm not in any hurry. I'll take my time, keep throwing some different baits. Like I said, there's a few more ponds too, so if this one doesn't work out, I'll just keep pond hopping my way around and until, I, until I can actually start catching some fish. Just saw a fish jump. So there are fish. If that was a fish, I assume it was a fish. Could have been a turtle. I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I kind of went over across the road onto this other side. I'm gonna go back to the, the original side that I was fishing on. It just looks a little bit more fishy than this one. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? You know if there's any fish in here? I have no idea. Did you ever see anyone fish it? I have. Oh okay, so there probably is then. Okay. Alright, thank you.
Two hours later. Well, folks, that is the end of fishing that pond. I'm gonna head and try to go to uh, another pond. That one, I'm not marking that one in quite off my list quite yet. I mean, it looks good and it's big. It's actually like a lake. It's not even a pond. But like I said, with the rain, the conditions, kind of a cold front rolled in, the bite might be a little tough. And I wanna kind of explore as many ponds as I can. Of course, I could pick this pond apart and maybe catch a couple fish, but you know, I was there for like an hour, hour and a half. I wanna hit as many ponds as I can, find some juice going. That way I know where to go next time I come back in town. Anyways, I'm gonna go find another pond. So I made it to the second pond. Again, no idea if there's any fish in here, but there's only one way to find out. And that is to uh, take some fishing poles down and start making some casts. This pond here is a ton, like a ton smaller. The other one was literally a lake. It's like a canal system, but this one's like a just literally a, just a, a mud hole of a pond. There may literally be no fish in here, but like I said I got nothing else to do. We don't have boats yet here down in Texas, so we're kind of stuck doing this so we can get a hold of some boats. But if you guys know any fire ponds in like the DFW Dallas area, let me know. Shoot me an email or DM me on Twitter. It's probably your best bet. Um, comments and stuff like that don't always work that well. So if you know any good ponds in the DFW area, let me know so I can actually catch some fish until we can get our hands on some boats and hit up some of the bigger lakes around here. Since I'm not able to catch any fish right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna keep going, but I figured I'll give you guys a couple pond tips. One is take, I mean, I wouldn't say take as many rods as you can, but you know, I would take a minimum of two or three and a max of like five or six. And what you wanna do is you wanna have at least one moving bait, one bottom bait. If it's summertime, water's warm, top water, and then a finesse. Those are pretty much the only things you need. As long as you have those four or five setups ready to go, you, you can pretty much conquer any pond. You know, normally I start off with a moving bait, and if they don't like that, then I will go to usually like a bottom bait, like a jig or a shaky head. And then if they don't like that, then go finesse, finesse, like small shaky head or drop shot, something something nice and small. Senkos are always a good go-to. That's what I'm throwing right now. Since there's not really much wind, um, it's just kind of cloudy. Another tip, I'm just gonna fill this with tips. If it's cloudy, throw some darker colors, like black and blues, June bugs. And if it's sunny, you wanna stay natural, green pumpkins and watermelons. That's what I have found has been working for me um, pretty much all my life. Is it's, It doesn't mean that green pumpkin won't work when it's cloudy and black and blue won't work when it's sunny, but for some reason, those uh, those combos seem to work best for me. A few moments later. What up? Hello? Hello? How are the dope beats coming? Oh, what's up? Uh, is this your first vlog in the house? Yeah. What's up? Hey, guys. Yo, what's good? Finding the dope beats? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> what? It's a sloth. Wearing a sloth shirt, editing some videos. You know what I'm doing? What are you doing? Since I've woken up this morning, I've been on the phone. For some reason. Dude, he's on the phone for an hour and they hung up on us. <laughs> they hung up on us. Oh, for some crazy. reason, if you live 20 minutes outside of Dallas, nobody wants, no, AT&T cannot connect you. Listen, Verizon. Listen. Here's the real kicker though. Here's the real kicker. So he gets done, he like literally, or we had like this awesome deal, like 300 megabyte download speed per That's second. Crazy, crazy. Upload and download, fiber optics. This is the only one that has fiber optics on here. So then he ordered it, he gets all to the end of the stage and the guy's like, oh yeah, um, by the way, we're not gonna be able to process your order because the people who live here before, like the people who live here beforehand, um, owe us a thousand dollars. So, <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so they're like, we need a copy of your lease. It's gonna take 48 hours to process. And I was like, no, no, we need Wi-Fi now. We don't have a, we don't have a fridge, washer, dryer, Wi-Fi. We're missing a piece of the couch, apparently not. I did think it looked a little small. Yeah, now that I think, like you were saying it was big, big it yeah. looks normal. It looks normal now. So it's a $500 piece of couch you had to go pick up. Yeah, like the piece itself is $500. It must be a big piece. But um, I guess Flair went on a, on a fishing mission this morning and couldn't catch anything. Uh, me and John are probably gonna go later today and catch all the fish in the pond, so. See you in a couple days. See ya. Yeah, a few days. All right. Is okay. that is that Africa? Yeah. All right. You guys can be on the lookout for uh, El African on uh, on the John Beast channel. So I'm actually leaving. 
leaving the Guggen house. So it wasn't my intention to leave today. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow. Given that it's like a 10, 11 hour drive, it's usually not something that people just like go jump in their car and randomly do. But since the fishing here kind of sucks, I don't know the fire ponds yet. I just don't think the conditions are right. It's just cold. Like it's 60 degrees, which I mean, it maybe not be cold for you guys, but like a cold front came through compared to the last couple of days and fishing's not good. And so, you know, I was like, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do the rest of the, you know, I'm supposed to be here for another day. There's nothing really to do. I checked the weather for Omaha, Nebraska, which is where I, you know, where I live. Um, I guess my first house, not my second house. And it's like 70 degrees and sunny. And so I, I started texting some, some buddies, some fire pond people, and uh, apparently the bite's on. So I'm actually gonna, gonna drive back. I'll probably get home at like midnight. It is 1 p.m. right now. Gonna get back at like midnight, sleep, and then get up in the morning and go fish some ponds in Nebraska. And like I said, I've got some business and that type of fun stuff to take care of. I'm gonna come back here, I believe, either Thursday or Friday. Just kidding, I'm not coming back here. I'm actually going down to Missouri where I shot my first deer uh, on either Thursday or Friday. And then I'm gonna be there for a few days. A couple other YouTubers are coming out there. And then I'll drive back down to Texas right after that and uh, hopefully spend four or five days catching fish here. Then I'm going to Florida. I'm going to Florida three separate weeks in just March. I'm literally gonna be in Nebraska like maybe two or three days and probably at this house for only maybe five or six days. I'm pretty much gonna be living in Florida in March. So you guys will be looking forward to some saltwater videos and some bass fishing, some peacock, all that fun stuff. But I'm gonna quit talking because I need to start driving. So I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video sucked. I actually just realized I didn't catch any fish, but hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed, you know, seeing the Guggen house just a little bit on my channel. If you haven't, go check out the Guggen channel down below. We filmed a full MTV MTV slash MTB Cribs uh, video that you guys can go check out if you want to. Hopefully I'll catch fish tomorrow morning in Nebraska. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Wow, why are you so helpful? Okay, what's your what's your email? I'm former Verizon. You're with you used to be with Verizon. That's correct. Oh, that's why. So they trained you well. Yeah, you need to train some other your some more of your employees because they all suck.